Hello, 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 everybody. Let's get on with the show. We're going to take a look at some mainstream uh, assets. Brian here, quantlabs.net, October 11th, uh, 23, 11.30, right around there. So uh, I'm going to show you what we can do. If you like this stuff, come on over to our quantlabs.info chat server. Join that for free as well as you can get on our email list here at quantlabs.net slash content. Fill out all your information and uh, get yourself some free trading secret sauce PDFs. Okay, let's take a look what's going on in the world of futures for the U.S. It's down, red, all across the U.S., Futures index at this time. Oil is down. Gold is up slightly. Um, Forex, as we know, all over the place. VIX is up a little bit. And let's show you what is up. We got slight up for Bitcoin. Big move yesterday. Down a little bit for the CMC 200. And then up. A little bit for the FTSE and down for a little bit for the Japanese Nikkei. So what we're going to do here on our Hoanda uh, data with all the CFD and Forex stuff, we're going to go through this looking for any opportunity in commentary. So this is using harmonic scans on a four-hour chart. Uh, so you can see some slight rally here as Australia starts to open up. Uh, nice rallies here. You can see a nice one for New Zealand. Uh, as they open up here, you can see Australia Japanese yen drop off, so on and so forth, and everything else pretty well flat. So most of the markets are, as I said, very flat. Nothing to really get excited about. I would say Brent crude's looking good, pullback, still continues to drive up. They're talking about ninety dollar oil now. Uh, France, you can see that slight decline there. That's a France 40 CAC. Pound against the US dollar. Kind of bouncing around. Pound against the New Zealand, same thing. Um, but uh, let's look for some other unique things. So here, the New York Norwegian is nothing to brag about. Um, there is one coin here. I did not show or not a forex pair. This one started to take off the Australian New Zealand. That's looking pretty solid. That started uh, mid September and it's been doing real good. Again, that's Australia New Zealand. And uh, not much else out there doing a whole lot. As I said, Nor what USD Norway. Eh. You can see here USD uh, Denmark looking good. Uh, gold, silver declining, some Canadian dollar, um, Euro, Hong Kong, flat. This one's the one to really pay attention to the gold silver ratio. You can see it spike up. It's down a little bit. That's dependent upon the performance really of the U.S. economy, U.S. markets. But they are, some are shorting, some are longing. Got four of those. So that's kind of what you're looking for to see which way that. Uh, Ratio goes again gold silver ratio silver here kind of flat nothing to you're not going to make any money in any of these uh, as you can see here silver the pound silver and Hong Kong dollar does not really excite me same with the yen uh, Singapore dollar silver in New Zealand not doing a whole lot. But again, you can see that Australia USD may be in early rally mode, like what happened in third week uh, of August. Um, don't know what more to tell you that really excites me. Uh, Euro against the Swedish. Well, huh. okay, here's one. Euro, Euro USD dropping. USD against the Rand, very flat. Deutsche 30 looks like it's declining. Same with the Hong Kong 33. India 50 was, has been doing pretty exceptional. A lot, a lot of people are not paying attention to that, but I would gladly take it. That started back in August. 
UK 100, no. Pound against US dollar. No, Russell, kind of flat. Uh, here's another one that's been pretty good. USD tie bot, pretty strong, kind of flat, and it's starting to drop now. What does that mean? Okay, so now we're starting to see the treasuries again starting to drop, okay? Same with the 10 years. So that's because of these negotiations. Kick the can down, kick the can down. Now they want to get rid of the U.S. debt ceiling, which is a complete joke. It's like living in the worst scenario of a dream. I mean, those laws put in there for a reason. But, oh, we don't need to worry about it. It doesn't exist. And then that $1 trillion platinum coin, another big, you got to be kidding me. USD Denmark again is looking pretty good, as I said. Everything else we've gone through, WTI is looking pretty strong. Maybe $100 oil, who knows? That will really kill the economy. Uh, Brent crude, natural gas, not so strong as you could see here earlier up to mid September. Been fairly uh, volatile. Now it's in a decline mode. Will it come back? Who knows? Corn here just decline, very flat. Inflation's really in the uh, transportation, I think, logistical and processing, not in the wholesale of the product. Um, pound against the New Zealand flat. Now, here's an interesting one is Poland. I think this is going to be a very interesting one where they've committed to buying more gold uh, from the Polish uh, central bank. So they're starting to see things right, as far as I'm concerned. Pound against the U.S. dollar, well, bye-bye it goes. Um, again, nothing really to write home about. We're still in the excellent status here, coming up uh, on the very good. Here's platinum. And now we get into the very good score. Uh, actually, this one looked pretty good. Australia's uh, Swiss franc. Little rally. Deutsche 30's dropped off. Here's the first U.S. exchange there. It's been dropping since September 5th. There's some um, classic pullbacks, but it does drop back. I guess that's where the downward pressure is starting to really, really build. You can also see that. Not so much in the U.K. 100, but you can definitely... It's, it's not what it was. So I think we're on the teetering of something. Again, here's September 1st, and it's been declining since in October. We may be up for something coming up over the next few weeks with the markets with some big drops. So hang on to your hats. Um, again, nothing much here. We've seen these before. Uh, gold, Canadian dropping. That should not be happening. That should be actually going up. That's how the store the markets are. The, the drop is not as extreme for the gold in uh, Swiss franc. Uh, Euro, very volatile. I, again, I don't know how you trade that, but whatever. A little more steep there with the Hong Kong. But you also, I keep mentioning, no one wants to hold this stuff in USD. So that says something about the US dollar and the US economy and the whole credibility of it just shot. Um, gold, silver again. And again, just to show you how serious of a situation we are in, I've shown this recently over the last few videos. Uh, when you factor in I think I gotta go monthly here. When you factor in where we are with this gold silver ratio here, where it went up to about 79 at peak. The date there was um, December 1st, 2008. Then subsided from there. Ever since it's been really increasing from the, the reversal here on May, April, 2011, the big spike. Uh, last year with the global sickness dropped back and now it's starting to creep up again. So that's how reliable this can be. Um, silver, Swiss franc declining. Uh, gold, oh, sorry, silver in, in New Zealand just dropping yet again. The Australian uh, 200 uh, was is very weak because again of, of, the, of the lockdown tyranny that's setting in. Uh, Australia, Hong Kong dollar. Looks like it's coming back a little bit. Could it start to rally? Who knows? Uh, U, 
U.S. Okay, so here's China. Ooh, a little bit of a spike there. Actually, that's pretty higher all the way back to August 8th. But the question is if it breaks that. Uh, Euro 50 decline. Euro Australia decline. Uh, still in the very good. We stop at the good. The point going over that. A lot of stuff we've seen before. Euro USD decline, decline. Deutsche 30 in decline. Uh, India 50 is looking really good. So that's probably the strongest market out there, without a doubt. Netherlands 25 down. Um, UK 100 flat, better than declining. And uh, everything else we've seen, USD, China won, been fairly flat, not going on it anywhere. And uh, still the USD Poland starting to rally there with that. This could be a good coin to get into, or I'm not saying coin, but pair, currency pair. Uh, USD 30, uh, flat. Um, a lot of these other ones we've seen. So, okay, sugar did have a really good rally up here till mid August, been flat, but it's been stable. That might start to take off as a commodity. Interesting one to watch. Um, yeah, New Zealand USD declined their long term. And uh, copper. This one was really good up until May. See that big rally there up until about March this year and then it started to drop back. This is, was the big inflation that people were going on about uh, over the last year since the pandemic really started. Yeah, nothing much. So we're in the good, that's the end of the video. Remember about those uh, emails or chat server if you want to get in. All right, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.